G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup and product review for this one. We're going to take a look at the latest Linux spin from Jim Acklor, LXQ64. Before we get into the product review though, it is no secret here at Backyard IT, I am not a fan of LXQT or LXQ, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you've seen uh, English Bob's discussion slash rant on LXQ, he was pretty much very forthright in a number of his arguments that he put forward and for the most part I tended to agree with him. Now I'm obviously not going to quote those arguments that were put forward as I don't have his permission to do it. So if you want to watch, if you want to see what he spoke about, I'll put a link in the description below to the rant slash discussion. I accept that LXQT is under, or is, I should say, is still under very heavy development. It could be anywhere from two years to ten years before it takes over from LXDE, lightweight X11 desktop. In saying that, though, every one of Jim Acklaw's Linux spins that we've looked at here at Backyard IT, he has smashed it out of the park. And you can pretty much guarantee it, it's a sure bet, that in the fair income dead set department, this latest spin from Jim Acklaw, LXQ64, he has smashed it out of the park again. So putting aside my um, apprehension over LXQ, Jim did ask me if I'd give it the backyard IT treatment and as we all know, if someone wants me to have a look at an OS, more than happy to promote it and put my opinion on to it. So, let's give LXQ64 from Jim Apple the backyard IT treatment. Gonna have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, well here we are in our beautiful Workstation 12 Pro. Standard test bench, we all know this, 4 gig of RAM, dual core CPU, 120 gig drive. There it is there, LXQ64 27 11 28, 28th of November. So, let's go have a look, let's, well, that's not the right terminology. I told you it's not going to be a good day today. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give this the back out IT treatment, going to have a sticky beak at it. Okay. I've got to be honest with you, it's already getting warm in here. So, Ubuntu 1604. I thought he put this on 1804, but it seems to be 1604. Okay. Righto. go. So we'll see how long this takes to install. I must give Jim Acklaw credit, uh, viewers. Um, his system back images are fairly quick to, uh, to install, which is nice. Does a wonderful job with them. Don't forget to stick around on the channel. We're also going to uh, discuss uh, GUI and CLI today as well. And the advantages and disadvantages of both. Also stick around because we're going to take a look at Calculate Directory Server as well.
Also, please go and support Jim Acklaw's YouTube page. Go and subscribe to it. Also, go and subscribe to Electro Scavenger as well and Computer Museum too. I'll put a link in the description below where you can obtain Jim's latest LXQ64 OS from SourceForge or SourceForge, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be nice now that I can catch up on content. <laughs> We haven't been content's been really down lately and the quality hasn't been fantastic either but now that I've got time it's going to make life a little bit easier for me oh god this is fantastic only a couple of minutes and you're done I, I told you he's likely to have smashed it out of the park again there we go just shy of three minutes to install yeah, I thought he put this on 1804 but he seems to have put it on 1604 okay all right Alrighty. We'll log in and then get the uh, we'll get the um, screen res correct. And we'll be blowing away. Okay. Let's get that uh, monitor setting right first. I've got to find it now, don't I? Preferences. Um, there it is. I'm a bit slow today. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. Preferences. Screen display. Hmm. Okay, let me... Desktop preferences. Um, okay, what's going on here? See if I can get this to actually... Um, there's the screensaver. So I can get the screen display. All settings. Quit. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have a look at it in this format at least. All right. So the first thing I want to uh, do right off the top is have a look at H top. Oh boy, that's light. Look at that. 319 meg out of four gig. So it's extremely light on the system which is really good. I think 65 tasks running, 105, 106 odd threads, one running. Load averages are very low, look at that. Very interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's go have a look at uh, what we get here. So pretty much standard setup there. We've got Synapsis, Time and Day. Pac-Man File Manager, which is nice. We've got LibreOffice Math. Graphics, we've got LibreOffice Draw, LX Image, Screen grab and just screenshot, which is nice. Firefox web browser, we're going to have a look at what we get with that. Chromium's in there as well as Geary, Qubit Torrent, Thunderbird for the email and you get download manager. Full LibreOffice pack, which is nice. It is Firefox 57 Quantum, which is good. 
I like that. Well, at least I think it is. Yes, it is. So that's good. So you get the latest Firefox and Chromium, which is nice. Other, nothing in the other. Nothing in the programming. Sound and video. Audacious is in there, MPV, Pulse Audio, so you can add VLC if you need to. Okay. Now that's interesting. This does not want to work properly for me this morning. Um, okay. Full bleach bit, LXQT. We'll go and have a look what we're at. So we're at version 0 0.10. QT base is 5.5.1. I must say, it, it is quite light, which is nice. Um, lightweight DM GTK. Ah! Hate the way you have to do that. Okay. There's your login details. It's not actually that bad. It's one of the better LXQTs that I've looked at. But it's... Um, it's not that bad. Let's see what happens if I go into printers. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go have a look at the terminal. I mucked that up, didn't I? Pretty quick. Webs. That's interesting. Uh, okay, try that again. Uh, that's a little bit of a worry. But I actually uh, can't get into it. I'm sure, that's the right IP address. Hmm. Let me just uh, check that a minute. That's a worry. Um, it's definitely the right password. good. That is not good. Okay, I've got a problem here. We can't actually get... Hmm. <sighs> okay, it doesn't like it. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Um... Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get to the um, platform of the 
of the E server. We'll try again, shall we? Hang on a minute, the phone's ringing. Bear with me. Alrighty. Sorry about that, the phone rang. Alright, yes. Like I say, so we can get into that one. But I can't get anywhere else. Hmm. Okay, hang on a minute. I've got a funny feeling my phone's going to be ringing continuously. Okay, I better... Let's just have a look at the network connections here. Okay, so it's got... It's got that, but it won't let me... That's interesting, I can't get in. Oh well, doesn't matter. I will give Jim credit on this. Um, it's very light, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, pity we can't... Uh, change anything. Um, because I can't actually system settings you see this won't I can't actually yeah something's not right here I don't know what it is but it's definitely not a happy camper alright well um, it's it's nice it works well um, unfortunately, I just, I can't get to anything. Okay. Um, Jim, if you watch this, uh, is it the installation or is it me? Is this... Let's go and have a look at um, LXQT. Oh, there it is there. Ah, that's my fault. I apologise. That's better. Oop. Okay. Now let's see if we can have a look at some of the settings. <laughs> nope. Still can't. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's, um, let's go and have a look at some of the settings here, desktop. Yeah, it doesn't, um, Yeah, okay. I think I've got a problem. <laughs> Anyhow, look, it, it is nice. <coughs> um, another, another very good one. Look, go and have a look at it for yourselves. You guys might get it working better than I do. Um, again, Jim has done a beautiful job with this, an absolutely beautiful job. Let me see there. Just unfortunately, it, uh, it's not exactly happy. I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I, I warned you I wasn't going to have a good day. <laughs> Go and have a look. It is a very nice. It's probably one of the better LXQT environments I've used, in all honesty. Um, 
settings. Unfortunately, the settings aren't working. But anyway. Go and have a look at it for yourself, see what you guys think. Again, I'll put a link in the description below to um, download it. And uh, also, um, it, it's nice, um, but it's just, I, th I think my ESXi system needs to be redone. Oh, Vim's in there too. Nothing in the programming. Let's um, just bring up Xterm for a minute. I might see if I can get into it this way. No. Okay. Something's not right there. We'll have to work that out at a later date. Go and have a look for yourself. Jim, it is nice, um, but I think I've got a problem with my ESXi platform, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the problem with it is, but go and check it out for yourselves. Another nice Linux spin from Jim Acklaw. Stick around, more coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.